All right, Falcons fans, there's a new head coach in town. Raheem Morris comes over from the LA Rams organization, and he ends up bringing with him Zach Robinson, who will be the new offensive coordinator in Atlanta. So we figured we'd go back and look at some of the things that the Rams did and how they were able to use their offense to get players open and score points. Now we're gonna look at a red zone reel here. And what I wanted to tell you is every NFL team, probably college team as well, talks about red zone rules. Some things that you have to live by in order to be successful in the red zone. One of them obviously, don't take any sacks. Number two, the back of the end zone is the least defended, but maybe one of the most important characteristics is the quarterbacks need to throw the football face mask or higher to find those receivers in the end zone for the touchdown. We're gonna to show you a couple of really good examples of that in this reel. Now, first of all, we're gonna see Cooper Cup. He's gonna be lined up right here. He's coming across the formation in motion. He's gonna end up taking this nickel defender with him, which is gonna open up the middle of the field. Now, Demarcus Robinson's gonna be in the slot and he's gonna get inside of the defender that's across from him and find his way to the back of the end zone. But again, as Cup comes over, you'll see he ends up taking the defender out of the middle of the field. Stafford knows where he's gonna go with the football, looks the defense away, finds it. There's receiver, perfect throw, face mask or higher for the touchdown. But I think if we look at the tight angle, you're really gonna get an idea to see how Stafford looks off the defense. So again, as this play comes, Cup's gonna come across in the motion, Stafford gets the ball, and you really see him here. He's looking the defense away, and he's gonna take Tyron Matthew, and he's gonna end up running away, which is gonna open up the field. He knows he's coming to the backside here, but again, as soon as he looks the defense away, throws the ball up, Demarcus Robinson elevates, catches the football for a touchdown for the Rams. Now let's take another look at another one here. We got Tyler Higby, a tight end. This is gonna be against Arizona. Now Higby is gonna be lined up right here. There's actually gonna be no motion on this play. And he's gonna run again, just a little inside post route. But what I want you to keep an eye on is this safety right here. He's gonna end up looking at Puka Nakua, who's had such a great season. So all defenses are thinking, maybe they're gonna go in his direction for the touchdown. He's going to hesitate for just a count, which is going to be just enough for Higby to get into the end zone. Now, Stafford actually doesn't end up looking away the defense. He ends up staring the defense down, but he knows exactly where he has to go and look at the location of the football once again up top. Now, let's take a look at the tight angle. This is the one where I was telling you, you can see Stafford. He's actually looking right at where he's going to throw the football. But what he knows, again, this defender right here, He's got to make sure that he throws this football right off of the ear of his helmet and he's got a touchdown. He sees it and he ends up making the throw once again, face mask or higher, Tyler Higby scores the touchdown. So you might be thinking, okay, well they can throw it, but you got to be able to run the ball in the red zone as well, right? Well, we're going to see Kyron Williams who had such a great season as well for the Rams. He's going to end up taking this football and he's going to end up cutting it back into this lane. But what's going to happen is you're going to see motion it's going to be from Cooper Cup, again, coming across the formation. And what that's going to do is it's going to take these two linebackers with them. And that's going to help open up that cutback lane. So the motion comes, linebackers flow, Williams sees the cutback, and he ends up getting into the end zone. But let's take another look at how he was able to get into the end zone. Because you need the blocks up front, right? Well, again, we see the motion coming across, but keep your eye on three players. Right tackle, Rob Havenstein, is gonna get inside of this defensive tackle and cover up his color. Then you're also gonna end up getting the tight end, Davis Allen, he's gonna get inside the defensive end, and then you're gonna get a little bit of a hold off cut block here by Puka Nakua. Those three blocks will allow Williams to see this cutback lane. Watch the great jump though by the right tackle, Havenstein, gets there, covers up the defensive tackle, little bit of a seam there, but he finds a cutback lane to get in the end zone. So in order to win in the NFL, what do you gotta do? You gotta score points in the red zone. I think we saw a few examples right here of the Rams finding ways to put the ball in the end zone, especially throwing the football face mask or higher. Location, so important when you're throwing the ball in the red zone.